Welcome. What you're about to watch is a lesson from my Things 3 course about staying organized with Things 3. This is specifically around areas, projects, tasks, and headings. So the basic building blocks of the organizational structure of Things 3. If you like the course, if you like the lesson, check out the course below. curtismichaelca slash membership to get all my courses, or you can find a link directly to the course in Skillshare if you're interested in it that way. Have an awesome day. So next up in the interface, we have areas, projects, tasks, and headings for organization. So you can see I normally have um, these four areas. I have clients, I have admin, I have business, and I have personal. Now, these allow me to collect different projects inside of them. So right now I have one for the focus course, and I have one for a client called ProvPubs. We can add a new area by clicking new list in the bottom corner, and then we choose between area and project, and then you can create that. You also notice that I have another one called Proud City. Proud City has multiple projects inside it for one client. So I have broken them out because I'm kind of mainly working for them as a programmer and they have multiple projects on the go at a time that I need to keep uh, tasks for and information for. Now, one other thing to note is in the bottom of kind of everything on macOS, we have this action bar in the bottom, which lets us do multiple things. It lets me add a new to-do. You can see I also have Command N as a keyboard command. I can add a new project or with command option N, I could add calendars to this or when we'll talk about when in a bit. I could move something that I had selected. You can see those two are grayed out because there's nothing to do with them. Or I can quickly access the quick find or search. Now when I move over to Marin Watershed, um, you can see that I actually have again the same I have new to do, but now it's also said new heading. So my new project changed to new heading because this is a different way of organizing inside uh, a project. Now projects are for a related set of tasks and you can see this with Marin Watershed. So projects allow me to have a note area up here where I can put related material. So for me, Trello and Slack contain a lot of the items and the discussions around this project, around launching the site. And I can go back to those if I want without having to go search through Slack or search through Trello. I can go directly to them because I recorded their um, main areas. Now, I suggest that you do that um, when you have a project. If there's other ancillary material that goes with it, you create a link to something. So whether that's an email, if it's just one, or if there's a lot of related notes, maybe to a note-taking tool like Obsidian or Craft to that actual note where you have all the other information recorded. I've also done headings in here. So headings are movable and you access those with the quick action bar at the bottom or with shift command and I can create a heading. So I've used these here to make some organization uh, decisions. So I have questions. I have two about, I uh, wanted to hear from Jeff about the regex stuff. And do I have example redirects from Kevin? So before I can really do the project, I need these two questions answered. Um, and I will have to go through that. I'll go through that tomorrow morning actually, because I know this project is in theory lined up for tomorrow afternoon. Now I've also used a heading to outline um, where I have to do a task, right? So Bluehost, I have to create redirects here for these three things on Bluehost. And then I also need in WordPress, which is their CMS, need to go and um, check the redirects that they have on their spreadsheet to make sure that they are set up properly. And all of these things are tasks, right? If I double click, you can see I actually have a link to a Slack conversation about my discussion with Jeff about the regex questions that I can have it answered. Uh, I also have here more information from Kevin um, about the redirects that I'll need to do with links and with notes to different tasks to different spots and files so that I don't have to go looking for this material later. And that's really how you're going to organize uh, your things through overall. You can use your areas for your main areas of focus, right? I use I have a specific one for a client because this one has a lot of work right now. Uh, and then I have my main areas of focus. You're going to use your projects to have for your projects where you have multiple things you need to get done kind of for one encapsulated project. And use your tasks for those tasks and use headings to help organize them. I don't always use headings for everything, but they can help organization when you have a more complex project that has more steps in it.